Yeah, writing original material is hard. So hard. That's why I don't do it. But maybe if you could add in a vampire, that would be great. Okay, people. Token Studios has just revealed a teaser trailer for Alien vs. Predator vs. Freddy vs. Jason. The film is set to release next summer, and we have nothing to compete with it. So I'm counting on you two to come up with our next blockbuster. And I have a rough draft ready by Friday. I'm not sure if writing a script in three days will give us the best quality. Nobody cares about quality. We're here to make money. Now, what have we got? How about another Fast and Furious movie? Uh, there's already one in pre-production. Get Michael Bay on the phone. He always has great ideas. He's busy converting Transformers 4 to 4D. I got it. Let's adapt something that already exists. I like it. What are we adapting? Wait, we don't necessarily have to adapt anything. We can make something new. Go on, Steph. Dracula. It's been adapted to film about 28 times. Only 28 times? It's perfect. What's it about, Steph? OK. So a man flies to some weird land and finds a vampire there. He thinks the vampire is really, mm, Cool? Can we make him cool? Oh, he's definitely cool. So cool that he brings him back home to throw a huge, sexy vampire party so everybody can be a vampire. Because vampires are hot. I love it. Then what happens? And then everything explodes. Great. It has everything a good script needs. Vampires, sex, and explosions. What are you talking about? That was terrible. I think you're just jealous of Stephanie's commercial genius. If you have a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Well, actually, I've been working on a screenplay. Well, spit it out already. We're on the clock here. It's a biopic about Harriet Tubman. Who? Harriet Tubman? I can't believe nobody has ever made a movie about her. I'd like to explore her early life growing up on a plantation in Maryland. Did you know that as a young girl she looked after her entire family? We could show the burden that was put on her. One day, the slave owner's son walked Boring! In. How about this? The boy sprouts fangs, grows hair, and becomes a werewolf. Because werewolves are hot! And it's a full moon, and all the slaves run free. And then, everything explodes! This is supposed to be a serious movie about a remarkable woman. Let's keep all the explosions and creatures out of this one. I've got it! We take a movie people already like, buy the rights to it, and remake it. Vivian, what's the greatest film of all time? 2001 A Space Odyssey? We're remaking 2001. You can't remake 2001. It's sacred ground. Leave it as it is. And do what? Make your stupid movie? Eli and I are onto something big here, and you won't let your stupid biopic go. 2001. Pitch it, baby. So there's this guy named Dave who goes to space with his supercomputer, HAL 9000, who wants to kill him. OK, but where's that modern twist? Um, OK, uh, picture this. Deep space. HAL 9000 turns into a super robot and tries to kill Dave with his laser. Lasers. Lasers? There are no lasers in 2001. And then the monolith appears. But this time it's, um. A vampire werewolf! Hot. Then, how the vampire werewolf monolith 
have a huge battle in space. Everything is fun. Perfect. I think it's better than the original. Are you people crazy? That has nothing to do with the plot of 2001. Doesn't have to. As long as it's called 2001 A Space Odyssey, people will see it. I smell box office. <laughs> That's it. I've had enough of all your crap. We are supposed to be telling stories in a medium like no other. You people are making the same stupid movies over and over. To compete with their growing interest in indie movies, we have to step up our game. I'm going to work on my screenplay in my office. <laughs> Actually, you'll be working on it from home. You're fired! And we're making the movie. Yes. They'll never make that movie. Even they're not that stupid.